Hey guys, how are you all doing? I'm Paul and this is Tech and Travel. So, you have maybe seen my previous video where I've just taken delivery of this stunning 65 inch C9 LG OLED. Now this was sent to me courtesy of the guys at box.co.uk to uh, unbox and try it for a couple of weeks and create a bit of content for you guys. Now, here is the uh, stunning TV in question. Now, I thought it'd be a good idea to test out the vertical banding on this. Now, I've got a 65 inch B8 and I've been running banding and burning tests on that. I thought it'd just be, you know, an interesting thing to do to see what the vertical banding is like out of the box with this TV. And also to run some color tests to see if there's sort of any inconsistency with the panel itself. Um, so I'm going to run some grade scale tests now and once I've done that I will come back um, in a couple of weeks and run them again just before I send the TV back to see if there's been any change or not. That will all be done in this one video so don't worry you ain't got to come back in a couple of weeks. You know it will just go straight into the two weeks view in a flash like that. So let's uh, crack on with this test. Right, so we have our remote control, and the first thing we're going to do is uh, get up YouTube. So I'm going to press on the uh, home button there, and get up the menu, and highlight YouTube. There we go, and that's firing up. Now I'm going to show you guys a little trick while I'm at it. If you want to make a shortcut for, you know, whatever you're on, say at YouTube for instance now, you can assign it to uh, one of these buttons here. And I'm going to assign YouTube to number one. So all you simply do is when you're on that app or whatever, like I am now, is simply hold down whatever button you want, say number one, long press, and it says, uh, do you want to create a basically a shortcut? And I'm going to say yes. And that's it. So next time you want to get up YouTube, which I'll tell you what, I'll, just, I'll demo it now for you guys. Let's come back out. So we're now out of YouTube. Now, if I just hold down button one, boom, that's it. There you go, little bonus tip for you there. So let's crack on and get up this grayscale. 5% grayscale. Right, and let's run that. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off this light or lamp get it as worse as we can and this is really emphasizing it as bad as it could possibly be and well to be honest that's pretty mint to be honest as as far as these sort of panels go definitely better than what's on my B8 OLED um, now it's sort of a bit of a patch here and a few bands as you can see but as I always say in my other videos in real life, I can I can literally just about make out a band there with my own eyes. Through the camera, it highlights more, but with your own eyes, it's barely visible at all. So that, in my eyes, is a really good panel. And there's a good chance it could actually even improve after a couple of auto refreshes. After about four hours of watching content, you turn the TV off, it does an automatic panel um refresh and it can clear things up even more make it better i know when i first had my uh 65 inch b8 i had quite a few sort of banding lines and after a couple of days they gone so next thing i'll do is the 15 percent grayscale and check on that 15 percent grayscale now if, bear with me while i uh Hunt this one down from the menu. There we go. Let's see what it looks like on it. There we go. So yeah, that looks like a uh, good panel to me. So what we'll do now is uh, I'll just move on to a colour test and we'll uh, rotate that through there and see what the colours are like. Right, so we've got our colour test video 
there now so uh, we launched that as you can see there's that retention there of a box that's not actual burning I mean that's just because I've had it on that screen for a minute or so that goes almost instantly as you can see so that's nothing to worry about that's perfectly normal so going through your white there that all looks good blue yeah all it's all looking nice how it should do as you'd expect for a brand spanking new tv but you know you have been known to have problems out of the box so this you know it's interesting to see if there is anything now, like I said, I don't expect there to be any burning as such. And, you know, I'll do this again in a couple of weeks, just before it goes back, where, you know, there could be a small chance of there being some sort of burning, but I doubt it very much. So let's just stop it here on the white and have a look. As you can see, that all looks nice there. And let's move on. Now... Like I said, you know, it's very small chance of having any burning whatsoever. But I know there was one guy um, on YouTube who had an OLED and he claims he got significant burning within a week. Um, so, you know, some people are claiming it can happen. I, you know, a bit sort of sceptical that it, it, it can. I think it's maybe another issue. I don't think it's actual burn in itself, but you know, that's sort of that's one to be debated another time. Oh, sorry, it's going out of focus there. Come on, camera, sort yourself out. There we go. And yeah, that green looks good. And just move on to a nice red to finish off with there, I think. Yeah, as you can see, all that looks mint. So, like I said, um, I'm going to cut it off here now and when I come back on hopefully it should be uh, two weeks later where we will uh, carry on and repeat the test again so see you in a couple of weeks hey guys so we are now three or three and a half weeks later after my uh, last part of this video and uh, yeah I said to you originally it was going to be two weeks able to have it for a little bit longer so yeah i've put a few more hours on than expected on the tv and uh yeah time flies when you're having fun um so yeah we're uh now gonna carry on with the test as i said before so i'll just repeat what you guys have just seen and uh yeah we'll crack on with that now and see if there's been any change over that time period now uh i will just tell you guys that um we have been using the tv as normal um, quite a lot of hours. I mean, this TV has been on probably, oof, I don't know, 12 hours a day, if not longer than that. Um, probably up to 15 hours a day, maybe. We, me sons, uh, well, all the kids have been off on holiday, so we've had loads of kids' programs on. My son has done absolutely tons of gaming on it. And again, he's, you know, he sat there four, five, six hours doing sort of mammoth sessions on, on GTA 5 and other stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's had a fair, uh, few hours use on it i'd say um i've not got a meter on this to be able to tell you exactly for, again for some reason it doesn't show that um but yeah you know it's been well used shall we say right so let's do a uh, long press on the remote and get youtube up i'll tell you what we'll do we'll just turn off the lights and make it fair again so it's a similar sort of thing as last time and we'll start off with the 5% grayscale and get that up and running. Right, here we go. Okie dokie. So we have got, yeah, we've got a, a few bands here. There was a little mark just up there. That was from, I think, a little logo that was there. That's per perfectly normal. That will fade over a, a few seconds and just completely disappear but yeah we've got a bit of a prominent sort of bar there again as I said previously if I remember rightly what I'm seeing with my own eyes is uh, a lot better than what it looks like on camera or should I say the camera makes it look a lot worse let's just do a bit of a wider shot there uh, that's not very good actually that makes it even uh, more grainy so um, I can't remember what it looked like before so you guys leave a comment below do you think it's improved is it got any worse 
Um, what we do now is move on to the 15% grayscale, I think. Let's try and find this one. There we go. Oh, hello. And there we go. Again, we got that little white patch there, which will disappear in a second. And yeah, again, we can see slight banding there. But apart from that, yeah. Um, I've personally not not I've personally not noticed any visible banding whilst I've been watching TV. So you know nothing's um, ruined any viewing. I know other people have had vertical banding that is you know put them off watching the TV so much that they sent the TV back or had the panel changed. But we've not personally noticed anything. And again, watched quite a few movies. Um, so what we do now is just do um, the burning test, I think. So where are we? Uh, screen burn test. And we'll run this one like last time. Ooh, sorry about this. I've got a brand new gimbal here. It's a bit awkward trying to get used to it. Right, there we go, lined up. So we cycle through the colours now. Then I'll pause them on some uh, solid colours. And uh, we'll just have a closer look to see if there's... Uh, been any burning or anything we'll let it cycle through once first and uh, from what I'm seeing all looks good as you'd expect um, for a, a TV you know being so new still but you know I think it's just useful for you guys just to uh, see like I said before I've had I've known people say that they've had issues um, you know within a few days sort of thing of ownership um, I think they just might have got unlucky with a panel to be honest you know like you do with anything else really you know sometimes you just get a lemon for whatever reason so uh let's pause that on a uh, bright white scene there and yeah let's have a quick tour around the panel and that all looks good to me I can't see anything um, you have to excuse any sort of waviness or little colour shifts on your screen. That is just the camera, that is not the TV. Uh, let's move on. Let's do a nice blue. There we go. Again, st starting up top left. Again, I'm going to sort of corners where you'd expect to see uh, burning from logos or anything like that. Or maybe, you know, sort of the uh, heads up displays you get on games and things like that. But no, all looks good there. Let's move on. Let's go to a green. That's a nice bright green there. Again, start on top left. All looks good. And by the way, if you do like this test, um, feel free to watch uh, my other videos of my BA OLED where I do this same test every single month. Um, I've been doing it now for, well, I'll be on to the seventh month of ownership doing that test. And uh, so far, the panel is all good after over 2,300 hours of usage. So, yeah, you might want to uh, subscribe and uh, keep up to date with all that. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's go for a nice red. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And again, all looks perfectly fine. So come down to the bottom again. I know. So yeah, as far as burning goes, it looks perfectly fine. And like I said, uh, please let me know what you think. If there's been any difference on the uh, the vertical banding. So there you have it, then, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video, and if you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. Um, also, feel free to check out my other OLED videos. I've got plenty to do with the C9, including an unboxing video, and also loads of videos on my B8 model, which include an unboxing of that and plenty of other stuff. I've um, got to say a massive thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for loaning me this TV for what, three, three and a half weeks. Um, if it weren't for those guys, I wouldn't be making those uh, videos for you. And whilst we're talking about the guys at Box, they've been kind enough to uh, send me this, 
which is a 3D printer and it's a, a budget one. It's a nice entry level model, 99 quid I think it is. And yeah, I'm gonna be unboxing that soon and uh, give it, giving it a try. You know, I've never had a 3D printer, don't know anything about them. So that should be interesting if it's something, you know, you'd like to maybe buy and try out yourself sort of thing, you know. Nice, uh, nice cheap one to try out. So yeah, that should be interesting and maybe a good laugh uh, messing around with that. So feel free to join me for the unboxing of that. And going back to TVs, um, the guys at Box have also said that they'd like me to, you know, open up a few more TVs and make some more videos. So how about you, you guys go and check them out, have a look on their site, see what TVs they got, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see me unbox next. Um, I've got a few ideas, but um, I'd like to hear your suggestions as well. So anyway, thanks very much for joining me on this video today, and hopefully... I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.